Good day, everybody. It's Mr. Preda, your librarian again, with another read aloud as part of the Global Read Aloud uh, campaign. Uh, this is week two, and the book that was chosen by the Global Read Aloud organization is another one by Julie Flett. This one is called Wild Berries. And I'll be reading it with my friend Bulbasaur here, because remember, today was also Bring Your Teddy to School Day. Um, so, uh, once again, uh, watch for elements of Native American culture as we share this book together, Wild Berries by Julie Flett. Here we go. Wild Berries, Pikachi Minisa, by Julie Flett. When Clarence was little, his grandma carried him on her back through the woods to the clearing to pick wild berries, Pikachi Minisa. Grandma carried a bucket and sang. Now Clarence carries his own bucket and walks behind his grandma, Ukuma. They sing together. Blueberries dot the clearing. Grandma checks for bears. Musquak. They pick the plumpest berries they can find and drop them into their buckets. Otaski kawawa. Tup, tup. Grandma likes sweet blueberries. Ininimina. Soft blueberries, juicy blueberries. Clarence likes big blueberries, sour blueberries, blueberries that go pop in his mouth. Clarence and his grandma pick blueberries for a long time. Punesk. They eat so many michet, berries that their lips turn purple. An ant, Enik, crawls up Clarence's leg. It tickles. A spider, Cucum minacasis, makes its web. Shh, shh. A fox, Macasis, sneaks by. Russell, Russell. When the buckets are full, Clarence lays a handful of berries on a leaf for the birds, Pinesisek, and the other animals of the woods. They say, thank you, Nenaskumawak. Clarence and his grandma walk back through the woods, Sakek, with their buckets full of berries. The birds sing, Nikamo, in the clearing.
At the end of this wonderful book, there is a pronunciation guide. Um, the words were actually taken from the Cree Plains Indians language. And on the next page, we find a recipe for wild blueberry jam. Yum, yum. The end. Thanks once again for sharing that book with me. I look forward to next week.